in this video we're going to be making this key unlocking the lock animation so yeah so basically in this video we're going to be making the key unlocking the lock which um everyone should be able to do it we're gonna learn something new called the the simple deform modifier which you don't need to have any knowledge maybe some basic knowledge of modifiers and doing some edit mode stuff so without further ado let's begin so let's start um you can see what i'm pressing down here and yeah so first thing i'm just gonna delete the, the default cube and press shift a and add a cylinder like that and now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the top face of our cylinder and just move it up like this, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to loop cut it, control R, and just increase the segment. The more, the higher quality our loop is going to be. You'll see in a few seconds. So about this is enough for now. And then now we're going to go to the wrench, the modifier panel add modifier and then right there simple deform and our object's gonna deform into a weird shape and just change it to bend and you see that it's kind of leaning over kind of bending right now so just change the angle to 360 degrees and there we go you got a loop now one thing is that it's a modifier it's a modifier so our object is still a uh, straight cylinder so what you can do is like press a to select everything and scale shift z to adjust the thickness now can you do that on the torus maybe maybe not uh yeah so like you can use the torus but one thing that is good about this um, modifier is that you can change the angle you can change the angle of it like this which is pretty convenient 180 degrees something like this um so right now just keep it at 160 degrees and maybe scale shift z a little bit to change the thickness of our ring right there and then rotate it on the y by 90 degrees to like make it flat on the ground maybe scale it down and now what we're gonna do is we're going to apply it so go here and next to the camera there's gonna be this drop down press apply and when you tap into edit mode you can see that it's applied okay so now we're going to add the, the line right here shift a add cylinder and scale it down scale it down about this and rotate it on the y Oh, sorry, rotate it on the X, 90 degrees. And now we're gonna scale it till it's like barely appearing on the top, like barely, like about this, okay? Then we're gonna move it on the Y a little bit till the middle is about this, okay? And now tab into edit mode and select this face and extrude it like forward till it's about this. And now what you can do is you can duplicate it, shift Z, or rotate it on the Z 90 degrees, scale it on the X, and just moving it to the desired spot. Shift D, shift Z, uh, maybe move it on the Y like this. And there we go, we got the key. Now one thing we can do is we can make the tip big and the uh, the part that is attached with this small so just tab into edit mode and then press um slash to go into that and then now the reason we kind of extruded this is that we can adjust how much we want the scale to affect so right now we, let's say we select this two and go up here and change it to individual origins if we scale it down it's only affecting to this point so it's good because when we select both of them then we move it on the x we can change the amount so about this is enough i think and tab out 
and press slash to go back into our object. And then you can join them. So select all of them and select the, the middle part. Press Ctrl J to join and there we go. So now we can shade smooth it, maybe scale it down a little bit more and rotate it on the X 90 degrees and it's going the wrong way. So R X 180 degrees. So now it's pointing upwards. So next we're going to be adding the lock. So shift A, the body of it is going to be a cube like this. Uh, yeah. But about this and maybe a little bit more thickness. Okay. And we're going to add a cylinder, scale it down and move it up, I'll scale it down a little bit like this. So we got like the area that the key is going to go in. Now, one thing is that I will not be making the keyhole for this video, but there will be another video about making keyholes. So yeah, actually there, there could be like more videos of making keys as well. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to do this first. So now we're also going to do the deform for the lock. So shift A, add a cylinder. And now one thing that we're going to do is slash into edit mode. Don't scale it. Don't, don't scale it. Uh, tab into edit mode and it should be selected all and then move it up on the Z by one like this. And there we go. The, so the origin is at the bottom like this. So do the same thing. Extrude, um, uh, sorry, um, G, Z, move it up. And then loop cut. Increase the segments, right click to put it in the middle, and then just add the simple deform. And then change from the type twist to bend. And now it's kind of leaning and change it to 180 degrees. And now there we go. Now, one thing is that the keys are kind of going up first, then it like touches each other. It's, it's not going like this directly. So there are two ways we can do this. We can apply it first and then we can extrude it out. Or there's another way is that we go into edit mode and we select like the middle parts. Yeah, that's the middle. And then just turning on this uh, proportional edit, increase the maybe the size of the affection and then just moving it on the Y like this. Wish it kind of works, but I feel like just applying it and then extruding it later works better. So let's just do it. Drop down, apply. Now tab into edit mode and select the bottom here. Extrude it like this. And then one side, we're gonna move it up a little bit. Oh, don't forget to turn on proportional edit. Okay, so now shade smooth and uh, slash out, and it's gonna be giant. It's gonna be pretty big. <laughs> and one thing we want to do is we want to set the origin of the locking part to this bottom part. So tab into edit mode, press A, and then just move it up till it's right there. There we go. So the origin is at the bottom of the lock. Then we scale it down, rotate it on the Z 90 degrees, um, rotate it on the Z 180 degrees, and kind of move it so the lock is like right around here. Now keys, the lock isn't like very sharp, like this is this is super sharp. Um, so we're gonna tap into edit mode, control B to bevel it a little bit. And that should work fine. And then don't shade smooth it. I guarantee you don't. Um, so now what we're gonna do is when when we do the animation, when this comes out, co comes up, there's supposed to be a hole right there. So we need to do a boolean modifier. So select the lock, add modifier, boolean, and make sure it's different and use this suction thing and select our lock area and then apply it. And when you go into edit mode, uh, maybe hide this first when you go into edit mode, there we go. Uh, 
Um, so now um, I'll turn it H to unhide. And see, when you shade smooth, this uh, ugly line is gonna appear. So I guarantee you, like, please don't do it. It's not worth it. So now, as I said again, um, if you want to make the keyhole, uh, there will be a separate video of making keyholes, hopefully. So now we're gonna add the colors. So go into material preview and just add the color as usual. Uh, let's say this one, new, uh, make it like yellowish and then increase the metallic to like one, lower the roughness a little bit and yeah. And then now the top lock part, we're gonna make it silver-ish. So not too silver or else it'll be black and just increase the metallic like that. Lower the roughness. And this bottom one, we're gonna change it to the same one as the lock like that. And for the last one, new, and we're just gonna make it gold because this one's kind of like a little bit more rough. So increase the metallic, like lower the roughness more more than this one. Or you can make it uh, maybe silver if you want. Um, yeah. And one thing though is maybe I want to scale this on the Y a little bit to, to make it flat because keys aren't that like cylinder-ish, you know? <laughs> so now let's do the animation. So, first thing first, we're going to join this two. So, the bottom part and the body. So, select the bottom part first, then the body part last, and press Ctrl J. And now, uh, increase like right here and drag the, and the timeline up. And you see this dot right here the, on the left? Turn it on. And then you're ready to go. So first thing first, press, make sure your mouse is in the viewport, the right here and press I and insert location and rotation. And then this is where it stays and move your, uh, this blue thing to like 20. And now you can move it up like this until it's inside now. There's no keyhole, but we're not going to see it. If you want to have a keyhole, I will hopefully make a video of making a keyhole. So now um, you see that when you slide right here, it's going up. So it's basically this blue circle that we clicked is whatever like movement or things that we change, it will create a keyframe for it. So like this, there we go. So now go to like frame 40 and then rotate it on the Z 180 degrees like this. And then now if we press space, the space bar to run the animation, there we go. And go to like 50 and select the lock and like at 40, at 40, um, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, at, 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 wait, wait. Okay, select the lock, locker area and then go to 60, insert the location, location and rotation, go to 80 and move it up till it's out like this, go to 100 and rotate it on the Z, 180 degrees. Now, if your key moves out of like hand, like not in this hole, it's probably because your origin is in the wrong place. Then in that case, then you need to go into edit mode, press A, and then might try to move it till the, the dot right here is at the bottom center of the lock, like that. So now if we try to run the animation like this, there we go, we got it. So now uh, press zero to go into camera view and you shouldn't see the whole key. So you might need to move it like maybe press G and Z, Z, Z two times to move it on the local. Try adjusting your mouse and there we go. 
And now what well, the last thing we need to do is lighting. So go to rendered preview and it's, it's everything is going to be dark. Okay. So let's add shift a add a area light and move it up and scale it up. Set this one to like 3000 and then zoom out, duplicate it, shift X, rotate it on the X, direct it to the sun, or maybe move it a little bit if you want, and set the power of this one to 5000. This is going to be the key light. Then select the top one up here again, shift D, shift Y, shift Y this time, move it around here, rotate it around the Y. And this one's going to be the backup light, so just make it like 2000 not that bright so now there we go so the last thing is the animation it ends at 100 so we just um right here set the end to 100 and turn off the blue circle right here and there we go okay so now we're going to render it so first thing first, we need to change some of the output settings. So go to here, output properties, and change it to like the, right here, the output, it says TMP. It's literally saving on the temporary place. So click on the folder and find a place where you really want it to ex like render and export. So I already have a folder just for exporting and rendering stuff. So I'm just gonna call it unlocking key. There we go. And press accept. And then now right here, change the file format to FFmpeg video. If you have like a imi image um, extension like PNG, then it's just gonna save a hundred images onto your thing, frame by frame, which like it's good in some scenarios but right now we just want the raw video like very quick so now all we need to do is that's it and then go to the render up here and render animation and since we're in ev it shouldn't take that long to render right here it says frame like five we just need it to be frame 100 and we're done so i'm just gonna cut till it's done okay okay so that is now it's done rendering now one thing it's different from rendering an image is it's already exported you don't need to come to image and save here it's done you can close it and yeah so that is it for making a key unlock in blender now as i said for the third time i am going to make a keyhole video as well so stay tuned for that subscribe <laughs> And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.